course, Rick Baker is a legend. Uh, somebody who I'd wanted to work with probably ever since I knew who Rick Baker was. And this was, I guess, the, the chance uh, that I'd been waiting for. Rick Baker made those zombies and makeups incredible. Those guys had to, like, sit for hours, you know, go through this process. I love Disneyland, and I especially love the Haunted Mansion, uh, you know, being a constrained guy that I am. Well, the steps for creating the zombies basically the same as creating any kind of character. I mean, first it starts with the design. So, I mean, I did a lot of paintings on the computer to come up with initial concepts. My concern was trying to keep that kind of Disney kind of family feel to them and some of my initial designs were a little more family friendly kind of you know but they wanted them to be scary you know I just said don't don't hold back as much you know and really make them more realistic in order for this to work as some kind of costume I said we really need incredibly thin people we took casts of some of the very thin bodies and then when those casts we sculpted in a modeling clay the new features the skulls and the teeth and the rotted flesh and so on then also we had to do the whole body and we we sculpted some bones and then molded them and, and applied those to this undersuit that the person wore. Kind of like those, you know, skeleton Halloween costumes where they just paint bones on a spandex. We did kind of a three-dimensional version of that. Then we put the costumes on it and built the costumes. We made clothes that were layered with three or four different fabrics, like gauze or silk, and then completely shredded to nothing. I wanted them to be very wispy and thin, and, and, and but I felt that we needed to do them because we needed to hide the person inside of it and, and it just expose the bones where we wanted them to be exposed. It's just like a big furry coat, actually. It's not that bad. They pretty much built it around my body so I can move freely and I feel pretty good. I'm putting moss around his foot because these are supposed to be tight and we don't want to see the black unitor that everything's stitched to. A lot of these people that were zombies were, you know, atmosphere players, you know, they're extras. And I was a little concerned. I, I just didn't want to show up on the first day with all these people and say, okay, now act like a zombie, and, and, and God knows what we were going to get. So we had a couple of zombie schools, as we called it, here in the shop, where we got all these guys out, and we said, you have to climb out of a coffin. How are we going to do that? We worked on good ways to come out of the coffin. And it was kind of silly, you know, but it, I think it helped. For the most part, there are going to be people in, in appliance makeups, uh, you know, rubber pieces and hair pieces and, and, and so on. This is one of our zombie costumes here. He's the one I think that you see come out of uh, the coffin in the middle of the mausoleum there. This is a foam rubber skull that fits over the actor's face. Very realistically done. And then we did a lot of, you know, decaying flesh and such that's on it. What we did here is we used a dental acrylic, what dentures are made out of. We make our own dentures. I mean, most of the ghosts had dentures that they wore as well. So that, uh, that's one of the easiest things in reality because this material's already made. And in fact, these teeth, now I look at them, are actually the already pre-made teeth. Uh, so you can buy some teeth for dentures that are pre-made. So. We're making 15 and 20 different zombies, and they're all like individual looking. This one, for example, we did as a kind of an old geezer one, you know, so we gave him, you know, like no teeth basically, you know, to give him a little bit more character. He walked with a cane. We have separate parts for some with separate arms. And I've done zombies before, and these are really, really skeletal. One guy gets his head knocked off, so we had loose green hood that we put on our actor. <laughs> Films of this type were the type of films that, that inspired me to get into this business, you know, and, and to want to do makeup and play with this kind of stuff. And so I, I was just really excited by it.